Hey, what's up guys? So I'm finally here to do a guitar tutorial for A Day in Your Arms by Justin Bieber. I have gotten so many requests for this all, so finally it's here, the Dan Cantor version. You believers are very persistent. Email me every day, literally. So here it is, Down Your Arms, check it out. So the first thing you're going to do is take your first finger and bar the 6th fret of the A, D, G, B, and E string. Alright, just like that. You're going to push down hard. Then you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the 7th fret of the G string. Take your ring finger, put it on the 8th fret of the D string. Take your pinky and put it on the 8th fret of the G string. Okay, and it's going to sound like this. Now you're really only playing the A other strings might get in there but try if you can to only hit those th three strings all right so that's the first chord the second chord you're gonna leave everything there the only thing you're gonna do is lift your pinky up okay again you have you're only hitting the A D and G strings all right so you have okay the next chord you're gonna take your pinky and reach over and grab the 10th fret of the D string, okay? Um, and I'm only playing, for this chord, I'm only playing the A string and the D string. That's kind of a stretch there, so you might have to work on that. Um, so, um, so far I have... And then you're going to take your pinky and put it right back to that first original chord. Sorry. Okay. Um, then, you got a little lick in between, alright, um, for the little lick in between, I am on the 8th fret of the A string, alright, and I'm just going to hit this note here, um, and hammer down a whole step up, okay, so, and then I'm going to take my first finger, and I'm right under that note, okay. So now I'm on the 8th fret of the D string, alright, so very slow. And then you're going to go into an F minor 7 chord, okay. Um, so the way that you play an F minor 7 chord, you're going to bar the entire 8th fret, starting with the A string, all the way down, all the strings starting with the, eighth, um, the A string. Then you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the ninth fret of the B string. You're going to take your ring finger and put it on the 10th fret of the D string. Okay, just like that. So, that's an F minor 7. You're not going to really need to play the high E string. You can if you want to, but I would not necessarily. Um, Alright, so you got F minor 7 and then you're going to go to a B flat dominant chord, okay? And remember this chord because we'll come back to it later. So to play that chord, you're gonna bar the entire sixth fret from the low E string all the way to the high E string. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and put it on the um, seventh fret of the G string. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the eighth fret of the D string. And that's how you play um, a B flat dominant chord, dominant seven chord. All right. 
Um, so that's the whole, that's most of the song. Um, so if you put that together, I'm going to go really slow so that you can, you can see it. I'm going to scoot it back just a little bit. Yes, I'm in the laundry room. Okay. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> so you got... Okay, so you're gonna strum down, strum. I start the way I do it. I start with the A string. I strum all the way down, down, and as it's ringing out, put your pinky down and then pull it off. So. Okay, and then you go to that. Okay, so really slow again. I put it together. Second part of the song, you yeah. got. chords but just keep working at it and you'll get it. Um, take your first finger and bar the D, G, and B string. All right and then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to reach up and grab that F. Okay so it's the, the first fret of the little E string. So every all the notes are on the first fret. Okay so you got all right you're going to take the same exact shape and you're going to just slide it up a whole step. So now you're at G minor seven. All right, then you have C minor seven. The way you play C minor seven, take your first finger and bar the um, third fret of the A, D, G, B, and E string. Take your middle finger, put it on the fourth fret of the B string, and then take your ring finger and put it on the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, and then you can take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the G string. to uh, B flat major all right um, take your first finger again and you're gonna bar the A string D string G string B string and E string I don't know why I said string after every one of those letters but you're just gonna bar them all then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're going to kind of bar the D G and B string okay so technically you're you're playing not really playing that note but you got all right and that that can be a tough chord um but just kind of do your best keep working on it um so the way that goes together you got g or i'm sorry g f minor flat, a diminished, and then a B flat down. 
to a A flat major chord. All right, take your first finger and bar the fourth fret, the entire fourth fret, literally. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and put it on the fifth fret of the G string. Take your ring finger and put it on the sixth fret of the D string. Take your pinky and put it on the sixth fret. I'm sorry, scratch that. Take your ring finger and put it on the sixth fret of the A string. Take your pinky, put it on the 6th fret of the D string. Okay, A flat major. Then you're going to go really briefly, just as a passing chord, um, to an A diminished chord. Alright, so I'm... Let me see, how am I doing this? Alright, so I got my middle finger on um, the 5th fret of the low E string, that note is A. Alright, I'm going to take this finger and I'm going to bar the D, G, and B string. And then I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on the 5th fret of the G string, okay? So again, I'm barring the 4th fret of the D, G, and B string. And then I got my middle finger and I'm putting it on the 5th fret of the G string, alright? I'm sorry, not your middle finger, your ring finger. And then you got a bam. And that's just a quick pass chord, so you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, but I saw Dan Cantor um, do it on the live version. And then you got that B dominant. We already learned this chord, um, so rewind it if you need that chord, but we already learned this chord. It's the last chord of the first part, all right? So the way that the, way that the whole thing, that whole um, special part goes together is F minor 7, G minor 7, C minor. working on it um, if you have any questions let me know but just keep keep working on it look the chords up um, if you want to find different voicings that will be easier for you I just taught it exactly the way that I saw um, that I believe I heard and saw Dan Cantor playing it in a live version all right so check it out stop emailing me believers about that song here you go you have it <laughs>